by today in better living our contributor Norm Murphy. She's kind of changing up things a bit. Yeah, we normally head to her house, but this time around, she thought it might be fun to get out and see some other homes in Connecticut to see how other people have decorated their homes. I'm all for that. So that's what we did. Take a look at our trip to a gorgeous townhome in Bethel. Hey everybody, I'm here with Nora Murphy from NoraMurphyCountryHouse.com. I'm so excited. We're here in Bethel, Connecticut. We're going to take a tour of a couple of your friends' homes. This is a townhouse, Dave and Chris's, and wait till you see what they've done inside. All right, I'm excited. Let's go. Let uh, me get the umbrella down. Here we go. Look at this. This is what you. This is just what you're going to see. Hey! Hey guys. Hi. Good to see you. This Nice to meet you. This is Scott. Hey guys. Guys, we're so excited. Thank you so much for showing us your house. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, thanks for coming. We've lived here about 20 years. We have a kind of relaxed, traditional style, and we'd love to show you more. All right, let's take oh, it. Terrific. Thank you. Nora and I are shown to the living room, an area of the townhouse that Nora is very familiar with. There's a lot to see in this house, but you've chosen one particular room. It's my favorite room of Dave and Chris's house. And there's so much to see in this room, so much to explore. I know, and you know what's crazy is that this is a townhouse condominium. But when we're in here, don't you feel like we're in some reclusive yeah. little manor house, but it's cozy? A hundred percent. It's warm and inviting, and the focal point here for the these guys is this mantle that was here when they bought the place but what they've done too is they've elevated the whole look of the room by just applying molding over the mantle on both sides of the fireplace wall. So this is sheetrock. This is sheetrock. Isn't that amazing? And they just added this frame, this trim around it. And then they painted it all out the creamy white so it kept it looking, you know, as one. Notice the mantle, decorated with branches and twigs that were gathered outside. They're mixed with some old deer antlers for a really beautiful look. Nora, coffee table in the middle of the room is another element, and you say stacking books is uh, kind of key. Simple. Simple. And again, I like to, from a decorative point of view, is that you're stacking books that really tell the story of your life. Gardening, antiquing, uh, grilling, whatever it is. And usually keeping the top books as your most decorative books. And notice how it scales from largest book down to smaller. I also like that Dave and Chris put this old tarnished silver plated tray there and it just kind of mixes things up. The coffee table table rests on top of not one, but two different area rugs. You know, I noticed that they've layered their carpeting, too. They have a pelt on top of a, uh, a on top of an oriental piece, which is so nice. I never would think to put a carpet on top of a carpet. I know, and it makes it even cozier. It does. Doesn't it? And also, the colorations really work beautifully together with the rusties and the creams and the champagnes. I love it. While you would never expect it, there is a TV in this room. It's hidden away. Who would think that there was a television in this? Yeah. It looks like an armoire filled with, like, comfortable throw quilts. Yeah, so it's a matter of find a cupboard. It could be old or new, and then put your electronics in there. I like that also for my own home. The next piece of furniture is what Nora refers to as a cabinet of curiosities. It's filled with wonderful things that have meaning to both David and Chris. Nora, this is a 1770s Dutch hutch. Dutch hutch, Chris's favorite piece. It's, like, probably the most precious piece in the house but again look how he's treated it it's all this wonderful little collectible things and everything has a story as does most of the things on the bar which is just a stone's throw away I just want to say that ever since I've been coming to Dave and Chris's, what I love about this area, it all starts with a fabulous foundation. It's this wonderful old dresser. It's a great storage piece, but the black really anchors that spot. And this is like an ever-changing little still life. Chris tells us about some of the neat things on the bar. Go through some of the things that we have here, Chris. So, you know, we have the bottle stoppers. These are just kind of fun, just little interesting bottle stoppers we found and um, different flea markets. How clever. <laughs> So uh, cool. Very different. These are beautiful, too. They, these are. These are antique glass um, decanters we found at the Elephant's Trunk flea market. Right next to the bar, a very old door with old newsprint on it. Certainly a conversation piece. It's a door, but it's a, it serves as a piece of art. Absolutely. There's one more area of this room that Nora wants us to see. So, Nora, the, the gentlemen have kind of created this little reading nook or this relaxation area of the room. Again, not a very big room, but yet this feels like a whole separate compartment. Absolutely. It's, it's focused. It's intimate. The portrait on the wall right beside this comfortable nook? It's remarkable. And look how that 
absolutely anchors that whole corner and that whole wall. It almost takes the, the place of a uh, piece of peanut furniture. It does. It's wonderful. And then he's juxtaposed with that fabulous old chunk of coral. And I love that those old vintage suitcases piled up that way look like a little end table. I just want to come in here and like spend the weekend. Me too. Right? Yeah. It's just a great, great, great room. And hopefully Chris and Dave can cook for us. Yeah, absolutely. 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 Thank you guys. We Thank appreciate you, it. Thanks for nice coming. Thanks, Thanks guys. All right. Thanks, Nora. We appreciate your time as well. Thank you. All right, if you would like to purchase things similar to what you saw in this piece, Chris and David actually have a shop in Norwalk called D.C. Kingswood at Fairfield County Antique and Design Center. Their Facebook page is easy to find. Just put in D.C. Kingswood. Nice. Really cool ideas. And to see more beautiful, welcoming homes, you can check out Nora's new book. It is called Nora Murphy's Country House Style, Making Your Home a Country House. You can find it at your favorite bookseller and on Nora's website, noramurphycountryhouse.com. Hmm.